Viewers, welcome to yet another tutorial with the Math Magician. To those new to the channel, subscribe so that you can get notifications when we post something that's new. Share with colleagues and leave your comments on which sections you need assistance with. We will make the video just for you. Right. Our main objective to, in today's tutorial, we are looking at the introduction to differentiation. Right. The first objective, this is something that came into the syllabus, it's something that's new. It's understanding the gradient of a curve at a point as the limit of the gradients of a suitable sequence of chords. Now, only an informal understanding of the idea of a limit here is expected. Right. So, I'm going to demonstrate what I mean here. Right. So we are going to consider the gradient of the tangent to the curve y is equal to x squared at 1, 1. So this is my point 1, 1. We would want to find the gradient of this tangent. So we start by drawing a sequence of, curve, of chords. So the chord AD, the chord AC, the chord AB, the chord AE, coming closer to our point A. And look at the limits of those are gradients. So I'm going to take the limit of AD, which is the furthest point first. Right, so if you are going to find the gradient of AD, this is your D, this is your A. So you are going to go 16 minus, remember this is changing Y over changing X. So this is going to be 16 minus 1 over 4 minus 1. And you are going to get 15 over 3, which is equal to 5. So this is equal to 5. If you do the same for AC, your gradient would be 4. You are using the A and the C here. If you use AB, you'll see that your gradient is 3. If you use AE, which is the, the one closer, which we have taken this point here, so AE will give 2.5. You may want to zoom in closer, taking a closer, take a point which is closer. So take a point, say, what if? x is say 1.2 the function is x squared so 1.2 squared would be 1.44 and again use it with our point a which is 1 1 so this will give uh, if you find the gradient you see that the gradient using that point is going to be 2.2 right so we're taking a point which is closer as you're moving closer you see that these gradients approach a limit so what is the limit of these gradients? 5, 4, 3, 2, 2.5, 2 2.2. So we are getting close to a limit of 2. So what we are saying here is that the limit, the limit of the gradients, of the gradients of the chords, of the chords, is equal to 2. Right. So that is... We are saying that f prime at 1 is equal to 2. So this is basically what we are saying. The gradient at this point therefore is 2.